A mass casualty situation is any time there are more casualties than a medic can get to quickly. There are casualties who, if you don't get to them in the first couple of minutes, they will not make it. The DARPA triage challenge is trying to provide them the information to enable them to do their job faster. We have an opportunity to develop technologies that are going to revolutionize triage and the way we respond to mass casualty situations. Any sort of situation where there are many casualties and not many responders there to help them, that's where we see these technologies making a difference. The virtual competition is a virtual version of the systems competition. So this is based in the DARPA Triage Challenge virtual testbed, where we will have simulations of casualties and simulated environmental effects and sensors and platforms. And there's a couple of reasons for having the virtual competition. One is that we can simulate situations that we can't simulate in the systems competitions. In a way, it gives us a wider scope of technology and challenges to explore, and then hopefully bring those over to the system setting and we get lessons from the system setting and go back and forth like that. So those two work hand in hand. The virtual competition really provides us the opportunity to uh, kind of remove some of the limitations of a real world simulation where uh, we can't have actors on the field who are severely injured and mannequins, um, while they look really realistic, there are certain things they can't simulate, like uh, heartbeat with blood pumping through the skin. We're using virtual characters, so we have avatars that, are, that have an overlay of physiology data on top of them, so that the, the, the competitors can detect that their, their vital signs and see where they have injuries. Because we're using avatars, we can match the injuries to the vital signs and, and conditions better than you can with, with mannequins and actors. The DTC Virtual Platform was created by the Applied Research Associates team in Unreal Engine 5, a popular video game physics engine for real-time simulation. In the virtual world, we have many degrees of freedom to design the environment and injury patterns in simulated casualties. We used high-fidelity digital metahumans with a variety of demographics. How do we give digital casualties vitals such as heart rate, respiration rate, and injuries? A human physiology engine called BioGears models real-time changes in each individual based on their physical attributes, chronic conditions, and acute injuries. Each injury type is converted into a virtual representation with corresponding physiological changes over time. Now, let's introduce the courses. Two worlds were created. A train crash and a military base. Both are realistic scenarios for mass casualty situations involving military and civilian wounded. Competitor teams must navigate through these environments, identify casualties, and assess their injuries using simulated sensors such as infrared, LIDAR, and radar. The team scores are calculated by averaging their six runs. All virtual competition teams are self-funded, and here are some of them. Team Coordinated Robotics. Their strategy includes utilizing Ultralytics WOLO, focusing on the computer vision supporting object detection, classification, and segmentation tasks. Algorithms were selected or developed for each task. For example, voice was converted to text and analyzed to decide if people were coherent. Video was analyzed and modeled to determine body position. Team Engineering Dynamics Engineering Dynamics believes engineering is a people problem, so the team includes a sociologist and psychologist. Their strategy includes focusing on what the end user would need. The Engineering Dynamics team is a multidisciplinary team of engineers. They are made up of artificial intelligence and machine learning specialists, as well as human sciences experts. Team TAC Triage Technologies, or TTT, 
Team TTT utilizes a person detection algorithm combined with pose detection to look for metahumans in the simulation along with their activity metric. The detected humans are then cycled through a number of heart rate and breathing rate algorithms to get an average medium value. Segmentation algorithms are then used for further wound and trauma detections. Team Second Sight consists of an individual who is a guidance, navigation, and controls engineer. They have experience in autonomous control, sensor processing, sensor fusion, algorithms, as well as software development and testing. Their intention is to utilize both machine learning and algorithm-based analyses and to combine these into an overall physiological signature. Second Sight's proposed solution focuses on casualty identification and triage using a combination of inertial navigation, IR and EO imaging, and localization using GPS. The system autonomously switches between search mode and triage mode, detecting casualties through established computer vision techniques. Key features include pose estimation using Google Media Piping, established RPPG or remote photoplethysmography, algorithms for heart rate detection, and similar adapted approaches for respiration rate detection. Team Robotica is made up of experts in triage and medical care, along with robotics and computer science. Their intention is to utilize both machine learning and algorithm-based analyses and to combine these into an overall physiological signature. Select the shortest path visiting all victims. Detect each stop and the victim observed. Use the sensor suite to determine status. Report findings. Team UASDTU, Unmanned Aerial Systems, Delhi Technological University. UASDTU is made up of students in different disciplines, including engineering, computer science, machine learning, and medical. UASDTU is an interdisciplinary, research-oriented undergraduate team from Delhi Technological University. The team has brought together novel ideas and advances in aerial robotics, biosensing, automation, simulation, and developing deep learning paradigms, along with new ways of organizing scientific endeavors. The team's mission involves working on humanitarian aid, disaster relief, and surveillance-based applications. Team Flying Fitches Flying Fitches is made up of family members who were able to bring their skill set to complete a team. The qualification and the technical background of our team members, engineers, mathematician, physicist, pharmacist, is a good basis for this challenge. And now, here are the results from the virtual competition challenge event number one.